Hello, sister. So I really liked your video yesterday. I thought you did a great job on responding to what I was saying. And you have some interesting insights, and I want to address them. But I also don't want this minute to go... <laughs> this minute. I also don't want this video to go over, like, six minutes if possible. Because I keep doing that, and I think it's frustrating. Um, so I'm going to try and keep this under without having to edit because I'm way too lazy to edit. I'm going to sushi tonight. I'm going to go hang out with my friends and I'm probably not going to get back till really late. So I want to get this up before midnight. So no editing. So I really liked your video yesterday. For some reason, I thought you were wearing a red suit and then you told me it was your robe and I was like, oh, okay, that's what she's wearing. I don't know. Maybe consider getting a red suit because it looks really good on you. So yeah. Um, I'm really, really glad to hear that your therapy session went well. I know you were nervous about that, and it was something that was really concerning you for a long time, and I'm glad to hear that you had an enjoyable experience and that you're looking forward to it, because I think that's really good. I think you have to have that kind of connection to make progress. So I can't wait to hear more about that if you want to share it. I'm excited. Um, so what I'm going to talk today to you about is something that I've been doing lately, um, which is learning to be okay with silence. I'm not good with silence. My brain is constantly going. It's what happens when you have OCD. It's what happens when you're a child and you're diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, I don't do silence very well. And since I had my problems that started in November, I've kind of had to sit with silence. I've kind of had to learn how to do that. Um, because images and words and a lot of things that get thrown at you, and sometimes just the frequency of it being thrown at you, causes me problems, and it causes me to have anxiety and have triggers and all kinds of things. So I've been learning to sit with silence. I don't necessarily listen to music as much as I used to. I don't watch movies, um, and I don't watch television as much as I used to. I don't really read as often as I used to. And it's boring. <laughs> it's boring sometimes, but it's also sometimes liberating. Like, I feel like I have this mental space, and it makes me happy because I'll be sitting there, and I don't feel like I have something demanding my attention all the time, and that's nice to have sometimes. Um, yeah. And on top of making this space for myself mentally by decreasing my exposure to media, I've also been learning to make space for myself physically. So... I think this is important because when you have a lot of physical clutter going on, it doesn't really contribute very well to having less mental clutter. And maybe for some people it does, it doesn't really matter, but for me it kind of, they go hand in hand. If I have a lot of physical clutter, then I'll start to have a lot of mental clutter. And if I have a lot of mental clutter, then the things around me will start to get really cluttered as well. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been working on reducing kind of just my physical state in terms of um, how much stuff I have. So I started off a couple weeks ago, I got rid of a lot of my clothes, and I they were just things that I wasn't wearing. I hadn't worn them in ages. I didn't wear the pants or the t-shirts, and I gave them to the, the thrift store. Um, and then another thing that I started decreasing, which I started on yesterday, was books. And for a lot of people, that's really hard. And for me, it's really hard. Um, and it was also, for a lot of people, it doesn't make sense, because you want a big, giant library, and that's what I thought I wanted. But... Mostly, like, I was looking at all the books that I had on my bookshelf, and I thought, I haven't read these in ages, I haven't opened them in ages, they're just sitting there, and then I carry them with me whenever I move. And, um, and I have most of them on my Kindle, and I have access to them in libraries, and why do I keep carrying these things with me if I don't necessarily love them or want them? I just kind of have them, and they're taking up that space, and they're take demanding that physical attention by having, having them in my presence. So, um... So I went through my bookshelf, and I went through a bunch of boxes, and I said, okay, I'm not taking this, I don't need this, okay, I'm going to give it away. And I did that with a lot of books. So now I have stacks of books in the, li um, in the living room that are either going to go to friends who want them, or that's going to go to the library. And then I looked at my bookshelf, and I looked at all the books that I still have on there, and they're all books that I love, and they're all things that I want to keep. And I'm excited about that. That makes me happy. Um, to know that everything that I have on that bookshelf is something that I want. And I'm going to do that with other things. So I'm going to go through my DVD collection, and I'm going to go through... Um, the main thing is I really need to go through all those boxes of schoolwork, because I've never... I don't know why I keep it. I've never had to reference it. I've never needed to be like, oh, I need that hard copy so bad, i got to see what they said on it. Um, no, I have them on my hard drives multiple times. I don't need to keep that stuff with me, and yet I'm still carrying it with me, so why? Um, 
So that's just something that I'm doing. I'm trying to reduce my physical space and reduce my mental clutter. Um, and I'm doing them both at the same time. And we'll see how that works. Anyways, this is already over five minutes, so I'm going to go. I hope it made some sense. I feel like it's kind of incoherent, but uh, I, again, forgot my note cards this time. So I'm back at school with no note cards and no idea what I was going to talk about until I turned the camera on. Um, I love you a lot. I hope you have a great day. I can't wait to see your video tomorrow. I'm really excited because uh, I love seeing your videos. They make me very happy. Um, I'm going to go now and work out and then go get sushi. So, yeah. Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye.